an NTTV special report, UNT Prez Talks with Dr. Neil Samatrisk. Hey everyone, and welcome back to NTTV special series, UNT Prez Talks, where we talk to UNT President Neil Samatris about everything UNT. I'm your host, Alyssa Weems, filling in for Michaela Goose this week. Just to start off, how are you doing, President Samatris? Well, I'm doing fine. It's a lovely weekend. And uh, after all of this crazy activity that we've had around COVID and with the urgent uh, issues around Black Lives Matters, I'm ready to tackle a new week with uh, high energy. Awesome, same right here. So just to start off, uh, the UNT Food Pantry recently reopened with a brand new fridge and matching freezer. Uh, can you tell me how does this food pantry actually run? Uh, well, we accept donations and there is some limited budget for it uh, available through uh, both private funding and public funding. So we're trying to make sure that students, especially in this time when many have lost their jobs and are experiencing uh, real emergency situations are able to have food security. All right, and how can people donate to this food pantry? Because I know personally I would want to donate to it. Uh, you can actually bring items to the food pantry in the student union, uh, and that's the most direct way to do it. If you have stuff lying around your pantry, uh, I brought recently just a whole, I had, I'm a ramen fan. I know it sounds crazy, right? But I just brought a whole bunch of ramen in and, uh, Every once in a while, I make cash contributions. So uh, you can come in and do that. Or I believe there's a website that allows you, it connects you through either advancement or through the student affairs office on how to make a donation. But if you just want to bring some food, it'll be gladly accepted. And uh, just bring it on over to the student union, to the food pantry area. All right, so just changing gears a little bit, uh, UNT recently produced uh, over 2,000 masks. So how does UNT plan to distribute all of them? Uh, well, we're going to distribute them to people who most critically need them, frontline individuals who don't wanna have a plexi shield between them and uh, someone, or maybe because of the geometry of say a classroom, don't have that opportunity. Uh, also to those who are working in higher risk environments or in more crowded situations. So with 2,000 masks, I'm pretty sure, uh, I'll, I'll just say personally, I don't want to have to wear a great big plastic mask on my head. Uh, I've got my mask right here. Oh, actually, this is great. While we're talking, these are masks that are made by our CVAD fashion design students. And this mask is awesome. It's got a piece of wire in the top and it's mean green. So <clears throat> uh, for the plastic shields, I think 2000 will be more than we actually probably need. Uh, so it'll be good to have an oversupply available. And as conditions um, pick up, you know that there's a record number of hospitalizations here in Texas. I expect some of our frontline people, people working in residence halls, people serving food to those who may be isolated or in quarantine, uh, will all wanna use them. So we'll keep a stockpile kind of for emergency use. Yeah, as you mentioned, it's really good that y'all have some extra ones. So if maybe other students or other faculty members might need them, y'all have them. So who will these masks uh, specifically be used for? Uh, anybody who's at risk, who doesn't feel that they're capable of wearing this type of mask. Um, I, I don't know about you, but there are a fair number of people who find these masks to be somewhat claustrophobic or they fog their glasses up and they're not comfortable with them, but those individuals will be given a face shield. All right, that's really awesome. Uh, UNT is able to do that. So just changing gears again a little bit, uh, you had a meeting last week with the people of UNT to talk about Black Lives Matter and encouraging more diversity on campus. What will be the outcome of this meeting and what are UNT's next steps? Well, we actually have sat down and done an inventory of all the projects that we've put in place since November, and it's extensive. I would say that we've probably started addressing and have addressed um, maybe 75% of the requests that were made to us and the demands that were made to us. Some of them are more difficult or more challenging. Some of them, uh, I don't know if I fully understand yet. So at this meeting, we're going to talk about the steps that we've taken. We're gonna talk about plan steps to address all the points that people have raised. And then we'll see what the dialogue looks like and it'll have black faculty network, it'll have the black professional network from staff, it'll have uh, people from the black alumni network, 
uh, as well as the various student groups and some of our faculty who've been participating in the town halls. So I anticipate that it'll be a really good meeting. <clears throat> and hopefully for those who decide they wanna to work towards a solution rather than just fostering um, anger, uh, we'll be able to make some really good steps. And you know, there's a path that we can walk together on this. All right, that is so awesome y'all are able to do that. Uh, I believe that is all I have for you today. Do you have anything else to mention that I haven't already said? Uh, no, I'll just say we're in full swing with getting ready to open up in July for some face-to-face -face classes. Uh, and the various groups that are working on this are actually working a lot of overtime right now, but I anticipate a good start and that start will help us understand what it's gonna be like in fall and what we need to do to make sure our campus is as safe as it can be. I believe that. I'm really excited to come back to UNT in the fall. I'm really excited to see my friends. I'm really excited to see all of my uh, teachers. I'm really excited to just come back on campus and see it alive. We all are. In fact, I'm on campus today. I keep doing videos because that's one of the ways we communicate with people. So I'll be doing a video for student bridge training, safety training, actually it'll be in Canvas, uh, around how you can properly take care of yourself during the COVID crisis, what the CDC guidelines are. And we're gonna ask every single student to take this and then remember their responsibilities and accountabilities for protecting everyone in our Mean Green family by wearing masks, washing your hands, social distancing, and basically being considerate. All right. Well, thank you so much, President Sumatras. And thank you guys for watching UNT Press Talks with President Neil Sumatras. Join us again next week here at NTTV. You've been watching an NTTV special report, UNT Press Talks with Dr. Neil Sumatras.